Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This will be episode 9 of Fishing North Atlantic. And in today's video, we'll be doing some deep line fishing again. But when I was driving around, I was trying to locate the last uh, port, we found a question mark. And it's a huge ship back in the bay over here. So I'm trying to get my. Uh, searchlight kind of figured out. I don't know where it's at. It's kind of weird sometimes. There it is. Okay. Let's get it up in front of us here. This boat is massive. That thing looks sweet. Lunar bow. Available at Lunenburg. I don't know if I said either of those right, but. We'll take a little look around this one. I don't know why the last couple of them have just disappeared on us, so hopefully this one doesn't. But I kind of feel like it should have disappeared by now because the other ones. the other ones disappeared right away. Man, this thing just towers over our boat. Holy crap. Well, that's kind of cool. You can see the little propeller there. As I'm doing the drive around, I'm trying to make sure I don't hit anything just because then I know I'll have to repair the hole. So it looks like it gets pretty close on this side. It's hard to see with the night too, but you got the little reflection of the trees there in the water. Got the red water line. Looks nice. That is a nice ship right there. What do you guys think? Should we buy it? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe uh, eventually we'll get there. But uh, here's the last port, which is just to the north of uh, that ship. So Lunenburg discovered. As you can see, we were driving around. We got, I don't know, maybe a fifth of a tank, something like that. But we're going about 14 knots about 11 o'clock at night pulling into port all right we're docked all right let's see here so yeah the fish prices are meh a hundred thousand all right we'll keep them because we're going to go fishing for them anyways and we shouldn't i don't think we'll fill the boat with it. so we'll buy fuel repair the hole for 34 bucks then we'll go to, well, let's check out the shipyard. Let's see uh, see if we can find that thing. Arctic Pioneer. Well, that boat looks pretty nice too, holy crap. Six, six and a half million dollars. Whoa, 20, 30 mil? Holy. Wow. So that one was 150 foot, this one's 237 feet long. With a max storage capacity of 1 million kilos. Holy cow. That's cool. Goes 19 knots. Pretty sweet looking. This one only goes 14 knots. 600,000 kilos. That thing looks deep, holy cow. One point two million a year, snow crab only. Wow, that's a nice boat. All right, let's get back to it. So we need. Oh, we're gonna do some. Uh, well, eventually we're gonna do some long line fishing. 
Uh, I mean, whatever. Yeah, we'll leave that on. So, I'll go with the tutorial, yeah. We'll go back. Then we gotta go to... Where is it? Oh, uh, fish market. Fishing gear. Buy long lines. There we go. So, my mouse has been kind of acting up, so I thought I clicked on the 5,000 here. But, it, for some reason, it doesn't click sometimes. So, I thought I was buying a bunch of uh, 5,000 long lines. So, I thought I was buying 10. No, I thought I was buying 40. I didn't really look at it, obviously, because it says 250 right above it. But, then I go back, and I was like, oh crap, it didn't, it didn't go to it. It says I have 40 of the 250s. So now I gotta, well, I don't have to, but I want to go back and sell all of these. I don't want these. So we'll get rid of all of those. And, I mean, these ones are 5,000 feet, so... And it costs 200,000 for all of them. I don't think we'll need that many. I think we'll go with like 15 maybe? I have no idea how much we'll get on each line. I'm trying to think, maybe 20. 20 sounds like a good number. That's half of them. So we'll go 20. So we have 20 5,000 foot lines. Alright, so each of these looks like it has about a 50% chance of catching something. Or I should say, 50% chance of catching the main fish. I don't know what we're going to be going for. So I want to do some long line fishing, but I also forgot... Um, I still have fish. I want to fill up with deep lines quick. The uh, swordfish and tuna and then do some long line fishing. So I actually left port with the long lines, but I wanted a deep line fish for one more time just to fill it and sell. So I had to come back and here we go. Switching back to this rigging. So deep line one more time. Just because I already have a couple kilos of fish that I want to fill up and then sell. And then we'll do the others. So so I had 40, and then I switched to the squid, and then it went to 1. So I had to come back a third time to, uh, to bait the other 39 lines with squid. So I had to come back like three times. Oh. But finally, we are back out, dropping out deep lines. So we just marked the uh, swordfish there. Whenever I get three of them on the 100 meter thing, I usually just mark it. So we got uh, number 26 out, number 27, 28. We got uh, four meals made. Wasted about a third of our gas. There goes 29. We're still mostly swordfish fishing. Um, we'll drop it every once in a while if we see tuna, but mostly swords. And there's number 40. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place, but... Um, so you go back. Alright, I'll show you, I guess, where... So we started down this way, around and up. Back that way, then up, around this, over here, then from 15 it goes through there to 16, 17, 18, across 19, 20, and then I did a little loop, and then I just kept hitting them, so I just went straight down. Alright, and then we'll go back up to number 1 here. Get close as we can, there we go.
let both the guys rest so that when we uh, when we are ready to start pulling these we can put one or both of them to work so let's get up here a little closer It's not too dark out yet, which is nice. Alright, now we're nice and close. We'll uh, jump out of the seat here so that we can anchor. Well, I guess we could anchor, we change the view and anchor, but we'll run up to the clock. 16's been the number, so we'll go with that. And we got some hits. And it looks like we drifted a little bit. Wow, it looks like every single one again. Nice. Alright, so we'll try this. Go to our guys. Let's put one of them on the deep line hall. And then I'll be with them. So here we go. Nice. Perfect to start it off. Also, we got three of them, which is sweet. Yeah, good. We'll take it. The camera angle is super annoying there, but another perfect. Good way to start it off. Two perfects and a good. It's nice that waiting the uh, 16 hours puts it into a good time to be pulling these out of the water. You guys can see everything. It's nice and bright. Here's our catch so far. That's what we got in the boat. 907 in, that, in those last three swordfish. That was, those were huge. Alright, number two. Let's see what we got. Another three. Awesome. Perfect. Another good start. Two perfects. Three perfects. Very nice. Can't get much better than that. 693. I mean, weight wise, you could. But three perfects in a row. Alright, let's get up here to number three. Got a long way to go. And I, I like doing the uh, little mini game just because I feel like I do better than them, which I probably do good. And uh, I think it affects the amount of fish you get, but I'm not positive. Oh, completely missed. There we go, perfect. I'll take that miss because I got a perfect afterward, so works for me. Alright, number four. Let's get a little closer here. Cool. There we go. Oh yeah. 42,000 to 21,000. We can catch a lot more. We have zero of everything else because all we've done so far is swordfish and tuna. But we're going to change that in the next episode. We're going to do some long line fishing. I've never done it. Don't know how to. I bought long lines. I just wanted to fill it with deep lines quick. Got it good. I wanted to fill the boat with deep line and then sell that and then do some long line just so I can get the, you know, a full boat of fish of one, one or two kind, the tuna and swordfish, before I start getting caught and whatever. Perfect. Alright, so we're getting towards the end of it. The sun is starting to set. We got 
27 through 40. As you can see, we got a couple of redfish marked. We got a swordfish. Can't remember what kind of fish that other one is, but we're just marking it whenever we get three of them. We got a good there. Whenever we get three of them on the most zoomed in map, so it makes it a little easier to find them next time we're looking for them. All right, let's get up to number 28. This boat's going as fast as I can, but we're only doing about nine knots. Now we gotta slow down. If I don't slow down quite a bit early, I'll go right through the whole thing. Alright, two more swordfish. Perfect. Not bad. You know, good. I'll take it. Could have been better, but I'll take it. And yes, believe it or not, the sun set that quickly between those last couple. But we got two left. We're only going six, seven knots now. A little bit slower. Wind must have changed direction a little bit. Here we go, we'll slow down so we can grab this guy. Looks like two more. We got a good. And a perfect. So here we are, number 40. Looks like we got another three. Starting off with a perfect. Two perfects. One last fish. Alright, three perfects. Good way to end it. Alright, so let's go back to port. Let's uh, put these guys back to uh, resting beat them. Alright. Where... Let's see which port's paying the most right now. Ooh. 6 and 8. 30 and 42. 27 and 8. And... 25 and 41. 28 and 44. So that one's the highest for tuna. And his point 13 and 41. So yeah, Digby's got the highest there. They got the highest there. I think we'll just go back to Yarmouth. Because the gas it takes to get to Digby probably isn't worth it. Because we do have some tuna on board, but most of our ship is full of swordfish. So I think with the cost and the gas to get there and that we have mostly swordfish it's probably not worth it so we'll just go to Yarmouth all right here we are all right yeah we'll sell just over a million one million seventy nine thousand pretty big catch we almost had the boat full so we'll go back maintenance fill it up with fuel repair for seventy three dollars and the next episode will have long line fishing for sure because we actually did record it and the video is getting kind of long so I didn't end up putting it in here but next episode long line fishing so stay tuned. As always guys thank you for watching please be sure to share the video smash that like button subscribe turn on those bell notifications so you're notified every time when I upload and if you want to watch the previous video episode 8 that's here or the whole playlist right here. 
And until next time, peace.